37 years, 9 months, 18 days. This is the age of my mother on the last day of her life. She died crossing the street on foot. She was hit by a car. Thankfully, I wasn't there to see this tragic accident. I was only 16. Since that time, I dreaded the day I would reach the age of her last day alive. And on May 17, 2015, it happened. Fortunately, I didn't spend that day reflecting on my life and my loss. Instead, I was taking Kyle to the Ren Fair for his very first visit. In the evening, before I even realized the date, I learned of the passing of my dear friend Karen, who lost her battle with breast cancer. I had completely forgotten what day it was, and that this was the day I had dreaded for about 21 years. Mom wasn't born Jamie Lee Nureyev. She was born Lillian Beth Tolan in the outskirts of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I was also born on the East Coast, but way further south in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when she was just 21 years old. This is my mom. Isn't she beautiful? Mom was an animal lover. She loved all living things equally, animals and humans. I was raised with her kind and gentle spirit, loving animals as much as other people, sometimes even more so, cats especially. At first it was just the two of us. We didn't count my father, as he was not around much. I grew up to be as adventurous, silly, clumsy, and as creative as my mother. And yep, I was married once too. Both of our marriages only lasted for seven years. And also, just like her, I had a million different passions, jobs, hobbies, and hopes. But I wasn't going to grow up all alone. Just after my fourth birthday, along came my sister, Elysia. We didn't get along most of the time that mom was alive. But after her passing, we realized we only had each other, and a deeply loving friendship was born. We were mom's world. We were her everything. Both mom and I had an affinity for dyeing our hair. She wasn't a natural blonde. We both loved giraffes, perhaps because we were both so short and wish we could be taller. Mom was a hippie, in the truest sense of the word. She taught me to be myself, stand up for equality and justice, and to express myself creatively. She even got me my first tattoo. Mom was really into health and fitness. Here I am, hiking mountains and climbing thousands of steps. Mom was an artist, and as you can see from her grades, no other subject even came close to sparking her passion. I am also an artist, a martial artist and a makeup artist. But my greatest artistic talent is in photography. Like any strong, creative woman, you can't take on the world without a like-minded best friend, especially one with similar hair. It was always my mom's dream to move west. She yearned for Oregon, but I yearned for California. Just after my 26th birthday, I packed up and left Florida for good. Since leaving most of my family behind in Florida, the holidays have always been a bit rough for me. Thankfully, Kyle, my amazing boyfriend, and my awesome sister, Alicia, are here to make them a little bit brighter. That's right, Alicia is here too. We live only 15 minutes apart. She introduced me to Kyle, my love, my best friend, my favorite person. He makes me laugh, challenges me to be my best self, and loves to go on adventures with me. I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Mom always took Alicia and I on vacation. She loved to travel, but usually only went up and down the East Coast. Alicia and I have spread our wings much further. Here we are exploring the beautiful desert southwest. We even manage to get back to the east coast from time to time to see our family. It's really hard being so far away from them. Family isn't always blood related, however. In 2005, 
a group of people were brought together to the desert for the love of the bands Cracker and Camper Van Beethoven. Because of them, this group of people has formed into a family. We call ourselves Crumbs, and we have a love for each other as much as a love for music and life. We are family. Another great family I am a part of is the New Village Girls Academy family, where I teach. I love teaching. My mom was a teacher too, but she only taught part-time at Broward Community College. I teach math full-time. Math was definitely her least favorite subject. I am also a wedding officiant. Alicia and I co-own our own company, LA Wedding Woman. Just like mom, one job was never enough to satisfy our need to share our love with the world. On my 37th birthday, I wanted to honor mom by having friends come over to create trees. Trees represent life, family, roots, growth, change, and the earth. It was a beautiful celebration of art, friendship, and tranquility. Unlike my mom, I don't have children. My friends, my family, and my pets are my world. They inspire me, challenge me, love me, and celebrate all of life's adventures with me. They are my reasons to wake up, to be strong, to carry the torch of life forward into the unknown future. I am so grateful to have known my mom for the short time that I did, and I am just as grateful for each new day that I am gifted to live my life and make her proud. I love you, Mom. <laughs>